The first challenge uh, in the web category was Web Recursive CSP, uh, built by Strelic. The nonce isn't random, so how hard could this be? The flag is in the admins bots cookie. We're given a web link and an admin bot. Um, I surprisingly got first blood on this challenge. Uh, I think this is also the first challenge solved in the, the CTF, so uh, that was very exciting. Uh, let's take a look at the website. It says, hello world, please enter your name. Uh, I'm Sloppy Joe Pirates. Hello, SGPay. Um, we can see if we have maybe uh, some sort of injection. And we do have injection, so right off the bat, it looks like we have an XSS. It's being reflected in here. Let's take a look and see what we have. Uh, it says recursive CSP, hello. Uh, this was our injection, enter your name, a little form, and there's a source thing here. So we can go to that. Um, and we're given the source, although it doesn't look good like that. And here is the PHP source. Cool, um, so let's copy this over and start reading the code. So the code is here. Um, in the background, I'm gonna start the script just because it takes a while to actually generate the solution uh, as we start reading over the code. So uh, this is the file. It says, if the source parameter is set, show the source, so if this, otherwise it's gonna grab a parameter called name. If name isn't set, it's gonna be equal to world. It's going to check, see if it's set, and we have a length restriction of 128. Then it's going to take that parameter, our injection parameter, calculate the CRC32 on it, and that'll be a nonce that's set into CSP. So if we look at the CSP, it's default source none, script source nonce, unsafe inline, and base source none. So we can't actually use unsafe inline if nonce is set, um, just part of CSP. I think nonce came out in CSP v2. And as backwards compatibil uh, for backwards compatibility, uh, you have to include unsafe inline for older browsers, but the admin bot is gonna be running on a newest browser, most likely some latest version of Chrome. So it's gonna use the nonce parameter and not unsafe inline. So if we want to inject a script tag in here, um, we would need something like this, where this nonce is obviously equal to uh, whatever is here, and then we can do anything we want. So, the admin cookie is set, uh, is the flag. So ideally, if we didn't have CSP, our solution would be just to inject something like script uh, window.location is equal to um, our endpoint or some, you know, endpoint uh, webhook site plus document.cookie. Uh, and so this is what we would echo into name. But since this nonce thing is here, we're going to need to do nonce is equal to abc123. But it's strange, we need this script tag to have the same nonce, the same hash uh, that it already has embedded in it, uh, which is kind of a fun challenge. Um, it's kind of like a chicken the egg problem. Um, but these types of challenges aren't new. Uh, there's a couple fun examples that are kind of related to this. Um, so if you haven't seen this before, this is a GIF that generates its own MD5, um, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Um, and I think it kind of goes into the category of this. Like, again, these are a little bit different, but I don't know how you pronounce this, if this is queen or quine, um, but it's a computer program that produces its own source code as output. So all these kind of fun chicken and egg problems. Um, but thankfully the CRC32 isn't too hard to brute force. Uh, so that's 32 bits. And so yeah, if we look at it, that's a uh, 4 billion possibilities. Um, so within the realm of brute force ability. And so that's what I ended up doing to solve this challenge. Um, oh, and we can see it just finished. Uh, but this is the script. So it's gonna do nonce against. Uh, so I generate a int, and the nonce that it's gonna generate is uh, four bytes of hex, so eight characters. But anyways, I start at nonce zero. Um, I make sure it hasn't wrapped around. And then I'm going to convert that integer into hex. So like one would go to zero, zero, three, something like this. And then I would go two, three, four, uh, going up and up and up. I'm going to put the nonce into here. And so this is our actual payload. So script nonce is equal to that nonce, document.location. Um, I think I hit the 128 character limit. So I just got rid of the HTTP here. And then this is just some webhook site and the document.cookie. So then now that we have our guess, we're gonna calculate the nonce of it. Uh, using that CRC32B, and if the two of them match, our nonce guess is actually the, the hash output um, that I printed out. 
and uh, we can see it you have to run it for a couple minutes i don't know how many actually it does this many whatever this is so uh how do we do this uh in this 16. Mm, maybe i need to wrap it in quotes there we go so <laughs> It took quite a few million iterations to find it. 704 million iterations, um, which is pretty crazy. It ran that fast. Uh, but anyways, we have our final payload. So we can take this and we can put it, actually, let me load my webhook site. Here's one. And we also need uh, some sort of cookie. Do we have a cookie set? No. Uh, let's create a cookie. Hello world. Did it actually set? No. Document, oops, document dot cookie is equal to hello equals world. All right, we'll see if that worked. Anyways, uh, we'll plug in our exploit. We'll hit submit. Um, cool, and you can see a page loaded for a second and then it took us to webhook site and we can see our cookie is here. Um, and if we look at our endpoint, Oh, I'm thinking I'm looking at the wrong webhook. Oh, I, I switched webhooks halfway through. Um, doo -doo. I think I copied it. Let me save that for later. Our webhook. I would think that I can just replace this like this, but I could be wrong. No, there it is. Cool. And so this is uh, the webhook site, and we can see we get Hello World. Um, I don't know if you saw, but while the page was loading, I quickly grabbed the URL. It does a redirect, but you get like half a second before it loads. So when we typed in, um, so when we took our payload in and we hit submit uh, here, um, it puts it into the URL here, our payload. Um, so I just grabbed it real quick before it did a redirect. Um, and so this is the payload we will be sending to the admin bot. So uh, let's put this over here. Let's put this over here. And let's go ask the admin bot for our flag. So we're going to give it this URL, and hit submit. The admin will visit your URL, and bam. Just like that, we get the flag. 